This location is extremely special. It has great access to clear skies, the perfect place to test and trial and take flight. We have a team on the ground who are remote piloting a small UAS and they're flying above us right now alongside other crewed aircraft in controlled airspace. There was no usable regulatory process to allow the integration of uncrewed flights in controlled airspace. Not only have we facilitated the creation of such a process for the New Zealand airspace, our team has also achieved seven flights in Class C airspace just south of Christchurch International Airport. A uh, run climb 3,500 passing 2,100 re request airways clearance. Flight testing in New Zealand really is a world first. It's the first time we've put beyond visual line of sight UAS into a complex airspace environment like this, mixed in with other air traffic and in full compliance with regulations and with air traffic control. The premise behind it was to test the communication, navigation and surveillance capability of the aircraft and we have been able to do that, integrating it into our air traffic control network safely and seamlessly. We have worked in close partnership with our regulator, the Civil Aviation Authority of New Zealand, with Airways New Zealand, with the Ministry for Business, Innovation and Employment, uh, with our hosts here at Tafaki, with our partner companies in Boeing and in Situ Pacific. It's critical we build trust with all those other stakeholders to prove that we can safely operate in existing airspace today in a way that will actually make sense in the future. What I've just seen is a safe operation take place with an aircraft landing successfully in a trials environment that is really quite groundbreaking. A highly trained professional air traffic controllers look after approximately 30 million square kilometres of airspace. We have new forms of technology coming towards us and this WISC, one in particular with our pilots in the aircraft, presents novel challenges to how we manage air traffic control. And alongside that, Airshare, which is our uncrewed traffic management vision, is to share the air safely. Trials like these helps us learn about the role of automation and scalability for the future of industries like this and it also will provide learnings to help us understand what a fit for purpose as uncrewed traffic management solution might look like for Aotearoa New Zealand. This technology is here to stay. So as a regulator, we've got to move with it. It's just really invaluable. It allows us to look ahead and what sort of regulation do we need for the future? What is fit for purpose? The regulator's role sometimes is seen as holding things back. Well, no, it's about making things happen, uh, but happening in a, in a very safe way. Tafaki for us has been a, an absolute ideal partner given their facilitating of access to airspace that is both close to the Christchurch metropolis area and Christchurch airport. It's a really good example of industry and agencies working together which help us to evolve the aviation environment. The phase two flights that we've just achieved create an impactful precedent to the benefits of the whole AAM sector and that is a great outcome and overall an inspiring mission to be part of. As community groups, as governments, who, as cities who understand the ways that these technologies can make their cities more connected, can create sustainable journeys and can create a safer future in aviation.